Take a look at this guys, that is the much awaited Perodua's very first self-developed electric vehicle. What you see over there is said to be 95% of the real thing and it's on display to the public here at the Malaysia Auto Show. So let's take a closer look at what is going to be the most exciting electric vehicle in Malaysia very soon. This right here is really interesting because for the very first time, it is an electric vehicle fully developed in-house, designed in Malaysia for Malaysians. So while we have had quite a few foreign EVs, even from local brands that are rebadging from you know, China brands, this is a proper homegrown EV. The first time we're having that in Malaysia. And design-wise, you can clearly see as well where a lot of other brands have cars that are a little bit too round, a bit too soft, a little bit too cute. We all know Malaysians like their cars, you know, sharp and sporty, and that's exactly what this car achieves. Now, Perodua says this is a B- kind of size of a car, and it's slightly jacked up to be a bit of a crossover. So as you can see, those wheels are actually large, 18 inches, and the ground clearance is, I think it's a little bit exaggerated on this display car, but it should be quite healthy for you to, you know, more easily run through bumps and more comfortably drive through flood roads as well. At the front, it is really sharp and it looks like nothing we've seen from Produa before. It uses the new trend of having a separated LED DRLs up top, like in a line, with the main beam separated further down. I think it looks pretty sporty, if perhaps a little bit derivative of other brands. At the back, however, I think it's really cool. It has this really sporty fastback shape. Almost reminds me of like a new Toyota CHR or a Nissan Juke kind of thing in a really modern crossover look. And I think it's a banging looking car. One thing that is a little bit weird though is the fact that the rear windows are really tiny even compared to the rear door size. And even the door handles themselves have been moved upwards in a you know slightly hidden door handle style like a Honda HRV or again the Toyota CHR. So if you look at the car from afar, it may look a little bit like a two-door coupe, like it only has two doors. That's a bit of a neat styling trick. At the back, it also has the usual full width LED light bar, but in a very sharp edges. I think it looks really cool, very sporty as well. Like I said, this I think will fit Malaysian local taste far more than all those, you know, Chinese overly cutesy rounded sort of designs. With this half-cut display car, we can also see the interior of the new electric vehicle and it's a very modern one. On the left over there, there's also a separate booth where you can go in and touch and feel the actual dashboard. Again, 95% of the final product. Unfortunately, we can't bring our cameras in there and show you right off, but I guess I can talk about it. First thing is a full digital display up top with multiple themes, whether you're in eco or sport, and it has a rotary style gear selector right in the middle, similar to what we've seen in the GWM Aura Good Cap. What's even more amazing, however, is that this is confirmed to have a full 360-degree camera, a first for Perodua, and believe it or not, it will also have digital rear view mirror. I guess that is more of a necessity than a luxury thing, considering the rear screen is angled so steeply, and it also has a large rear wing at the top, so perhaps the actual view out of the window is a little bit limited, so therefore having a digital rear view mirror is really needed. Beyond that, this car also has quite a few other firsts for Perodua. The dashboard will be soft to the touch, on the left side at least, and it will also have a really nice ambient lighting system. The center screen will have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto from the get-go, and while most of the aircon controls are within the touchscreens themselves, you still have access to proper physical controls to adjust your AC. You sort of get the feeling that they've really spoken to their customers and fine-tune their vehicle to exactly what us Malaysians want in a small EV. Next, let's talk about all the numbers. Again, final specs have not been confirmed just yet. This is still 
a work in progress, but we know what Produa's targets are. They are targeting a full real-world range of around 400 kilometers, and this will still be a pretty powerful car, 0 to 100 in between 6 to 7 seconds. For sure, this will be the fastest accelerating Produa we've seen yet. At the same time, the top speed will be up to 165 kilometers per hour. That's fast enough for most Malaysians, I would say. And to charge and all that, numbers have not been confirmed just yet. But according to Perodua, it should be well within the expectations of most Malaysians. Now, let's talk about the really unique part of this car, the battery. The pack itself will be supplied by Chinese supplier CATL. But here in Malaysia, Perodua will pioneer battery as a service, as in you buy the car outright. It's going to be priced under 80,000 ringgit or so. It will likely be cheaper than that when it's finally announced. But on top of that, you'll also pay a smaller amount for the battery you are sort of renting or leasing the battery from Produa. So the battery itself will be owned by Produa, but they will give you full warranty coverage for it. If anything were to happen, there's a straight up one-to-one -one replacement. According to Produa, you can just go to any Produa showrooms and they'll switch to a brand new battery within 30 minutes. We'll see if that can actually be done in the real world, but it certainly sounds pretty convincing, I would say. One more thing, this battery as a service system or BAAS is designed almost exactly, almost specifically for all those people who are always worried about the longevity of an EV battery. They keep saying, you know, five years, ten years down the road, if the battery dies, how? Then you're just stuck with a car without a workable battery. But with this system, whether it's five years from now, whether it's ten years from now, if the battery ever fails, that battery does not belong to you. It, but it belongs to Produa and they can just as easily change it to a brand new one so the car will work perfectly even uh, quite a few years down the line. They also have thought of resale value. Right now, resale value for EVs in Malaysia are a little bit suspect. So certain cars have lost like half their value within just one, two years. So that's definitely not a good thing. So for this particular car, Prodo is also thinking of having a guaranteed future value model for the car. So that sort of guarantees the resale value of the car, maybe five, seven, nine years down the road. They've really thought of everything with this one, I think. So there you go guys, that's pretty much everything we know so far of the upcoming Perodua electric vehicle that will be launched in Malaysia, locally made here in Rawang in a brand new electric vehicle plant by the end of this year. Are you as excited for this car as we all are? Do let me know in the comments section below. And what do you think? Do you think this is a more interesting product than say the Proton EMAS 5 that should come out around the same time? Let me know below. Thank you for watching everyone and stay safe.